I did a video yesterday about atheism, about faith, about all the issues surrounding that, about abortion. And I just want to qualify what I said yesterday. I absolutely believe everything that I said yesterday, but some of the way I said it was possibly a little bit insensitive, specifically um, to to women in the movement. And, you know, there's a, there's a, a verse in the Bible, in fact, the words of Jesus, and Jesus said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. So what I was not doing yesterday was attacking women that had had an abortion. I wasn't attacking people that are gay. I wasn't, I wasn't doing any of that. And I want to really qualify that. What I was saying was that the state and society as a whole has turned away from Christianity. And as individuals, we turned away from Christianity. And that is to the detriment of ourselves and to the detriment of of society so everything i said yesterday in that video was true but if the way i said it was offensive again i'm big enough to put my big boy pants on and apologize for saying something that that might have been taken the wrong way now i didn't get a lot of pushback from it most people in the comments on the video supported it but there were a few people that that were were upset by by some of the comments that i made but as i said yesterday I am absolutely opposed to abortion, and I always have been. I'll tell you why, on a personal level, I'm opposed to abortion. I was adopted in 1968. The abortion legislation, as far as I knew, came on the statute book at the back end of 1968. And as the 70s and the 80s went on, I often thought, and even as a young person, way before I ever got involved in Christianity, I often thought, if I'd have been conceived with abortion on the statute books, there's a, there's a quite a high possibility that I wouldn't have made it out of the womb. And I think that's a, that's a reality that is quite safe to say. And that's not in any way attacking women that have had abortions. I have always said this, that I believe the women are victims of the abortion legislation as much as the children are. And, and I feel very strongly about it. I always have felt strongly about it. And I, and I, I know, I know for a fact, um, when I got involved in this in, in, in a church I went to years ago and, and spoke to, to women that had been through this and, and um, had women came to the church and talked about this, that, that had gone through abortion, that they suffered a great deal as a result of it as well. So I am not judging anyone that's had an abortion at all. I want to really make that very, very clear. I'm not saying that people who are atheists are any better or worse than the rest of us. The point I'm making is that atheism is very, very damaging to society and culture. Marxism comes out of atheism. Nazism comes out of atheism. This whole woke agenda comes out of atheism. So they're, they're the points that I'm trying to make. And again, if you, if you wind the clock back to 1500, you know, 1600, 1700 years ago in what is now the UK, in Britain, as it was called then, we were living under paganism, human sacrifice, you know, rape was rife, violence was rife. So, so the reality of the situation is what Christianity has done in the past 2000 years in Western society and culture has made it a million times better for women, for children, for people that are weak, for people that are struggling. The whole point of Christianity is it's a faith based on love and peace, whereas atheism, communism, there's no love in communism. There's no, no, no love in Nazism. There's no love in Islamism. And that has always been my point, that the bulwark against all this is Christianity. So again, I am not in a position to, to, to point fingers at anyone. And that wasn't my intention yesterday at all. My intention was to let people know exactly what I believe. And everybody knows what I believe because I've made countless videos on this down through the years. And, and especially more so in the last in the last few months, because I just think this is the most important issue that we're facing is the lack of faith in the UK. And I believe that's changing. And I believe that's a good thing. So, again, if anyone was offended, particularly the women, I apologize for that. But I've got to tell the truth. I've got to tell people what I believe. And I've got to, I've got to say it in a way that is compassionate and does not come across as judgmental or, or legalistic. Because I've not... <laughs> What's that Bible verse say? Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Well, I, uh, you know, I've plenty of sins under my belt to my shame. Okay, so I'm not in any way judging or pointing the finger at anyone. We all need God. We all need Christ. That's where I stand. 
and I've believed that for many, many years, and I'm well aware of my own failings and and my own hypocrisy. So anyway, just uh, let's just get that out there and, and clear that up. I'm not wanting to alienate or push people away from the movement. Quite the opposite. See you all soon.